Rahim. Your Excellencies, I would like to thank the Swiss Confederation for inviting us to attend this summit in line with its long tradition as mediators and peacemakers. The Kingdom's participation in this summit stems from our commitment to support all efforts at reaching an end to this conflict and achieving sustainable and just peace and security. We hope this summit provides the much needed basis for placing us on a political track to resolving the conflict. Since this conflict erupted, the Kingdom has asserted the centrality of international law, the importance of peacefully resolving differences through dialogue, and the need to reduce tensions and mitigate the global impacts of the war. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister also extended the Kingdom's good offices to both sides, expressing our readiness to mediate and bring the conflict closer to a solution. These efforts have positively contributed to the exchange of hundreds of prisoners, including multiple foreign nationals. The, dis uh, the disruption to peace and security in Europe has affected global stability and hindered collective action and global cooperation. We, reform we reaffirm the importance of facilitating access to global food supplies and working to strengthen both global food energy and energy security in the face of the challenges the world faces. More than two years into this conflict, the impact is felt by the international community, and it is therefore shared burden to encourage peace and negotiation rather than further escalation. The Kingdom views as a priority the need to facilitate a cessation of hostilities and to encourage an environment conduct conducive to peace, one that spares further destruction and the loss of life. This overreaching, overreaching consideration has been reflected in our balanced position from the beginning of the conflict while leveraging our positive relations and good offices with both sides in search of a pathway to peace. We have also sought to provide Ukraine critical humanitarian assistance to alleviate the suffering of the Ukrainian people. The principles reflect, these principles reflect the Kingdom's long-standing position, and we will continue to lend our support to all efforts to facilitate, di to facilitate dialogue between both parties. We believe it is important that the international community encourage any step towards serious negotiations, which will require difficult compromise as part of a roadmap that leads to peace. And here it is essential to emphasize that any credible process will need Russia's participation. We hope the outcomes of this summit reflect those aims. Thank you.